Before you can build a model rocket, it's important that you understand how a model rocket works. Let's start by explaining a basic model rocket. This is a simple single stage model rocket that you can certainly get in a hobby store. It has balsa wood fins, a paper body tube, and a balsa wood or plastic nose cone. It's designed for many flights. To fly it, you insert a model rocket motor, commercially made and safety certified by the National Association of Rocketry. You insert the model rocket motor in your rocket, install an electrical igniter, install the rocket on the launch pad, as shown here, igniting it electrically from a distance. And when the rocket motor is ignited, it produces thrust that powers the rocket vertically and sends it up to a significant altitude. At maximum altitude, called apogee, a small ejection charge built into the model rocket motor deploys the recovery system, in this case, a parachute. When the parachute deploys, it brings the rocket back down to the ground at a safe landing speed so that it can be reused. And to reuse it, you simply remove the model rocket motor, throw it away, and place in a new model rocket motor. If your rocket has multiple stages, such as this one, then you ignite the model rocket motors in the bottom stage on the pad, and when they burn out, they ignite an upper stage motor, which powers the second stage as the first falls away, and this reaches a higher altitude. So how does the model rocket motor work? Well, let's start with a cutaway diagram. This is a cutaway of a model rocket motor, and it shows you the three components that are inside the rocket motor. The first component is the propellant. It produces the energy that powers the rocket by producing thrust. The propellant burns for anywhere from a half a second to several seconds. At the end of the propellant burn, the propellant ignites a delay charge. The delay charge burns for several seconds, as labeled on the outside of the rocket motor, and it produces no thrust, but it produces smoke so that you can follow your rocket to apogee. At the end of the delay charge, there's an ejection charge, which produces a burst of hot gas that deploys your recovery system. Model rocket motors come in a variety of sizes. The smallest size, shown here, is a 1 quarter A. They move up by letters so that there is then a half A, an A, which is this, a B, a C, a D motor, an E motor, and the largest size model rocket motor, which is a G motor. This is also a model rocket motor of the E power class, the same as this. It uses a different propellant called ammonium perchlorate composite propellant, which has a higher amount of energy in it so the rocket motor can be somewhat smaller. So how does your rocket fly stably to get the use of the model rocket motor to power it to apogee? Well, the model rocket has two things that you have to know. It has a center of gravity, which is the balance point of the rocket, and it has a center of pressure, which is the center of aerodynamic forces acting on the rocket. The center of pressure can be determined through a flight simulation computer program, such as RockSim or SpaceCAD, or you can simply make a cardboard tracing of your rocket and where your cardboard tracing balances is approximately the center of pressure. The center of pressure has to be behind the center of gravity. You can keep the center of pressure back towards the back of your rocket by using fins, either larger or smaller, but the larger they are, the further the center of pressure goes aft on your rocket. If you have fins that are far forward, your center of pressure will move forward and your rocket might not be stable. And then there's the center of gravity of your rocket, which is simply the point where your rocket balances when it's ready for flight with the rocket motor installed. You balance it on your finger like this, and that balance point is the center of gravity. It has to be ahead of the center of pressure. So now you understand how a rocket works and how to make your rocket stable. The rest of this video, we're going to explain to you how to build that rocket.